I I never I never thought I'd be recording something like this. Actually, I've always dreamed of recording something like this, <laughs> but I never thought I'd be brave enough to. But after decades, but after decades, wandering, wandering through an abyss, I feel like there's nothing more important than the truth. And living my life in fear of speaking the truth is, is literally worse than death to me. It's a, it's a fate worse than death. Take a deep breath with me. In through your nose, out through your mouth, if you have. If you have them. If not, just breathe however you breathe. I'm gonna go in through my nose. Hold my breath for a second. And let it out through my mouth. I know this feels a little serious. Maybe somber. Maybe melodramatic. I am all of those three things at all times, and sometimes none. I just wanted to talk to you about how seriously I take you. And I'm not casting a wide net. There's only a few of you who would listen to this and understand. There's only a few of you who listen to this and actually know me. This is about how seriously I take everyone and how seriously I take this moment and how enjoyable and fun it is to look at life, to look at each moment and life and the sands of time as something holy and special. And a resource that is truly limited. And when I and when I say that, you may think I'm alluding to living your best life, maybe alluding to enjoying your life while you're here. But what I'm really talking about. What I'm really talking about but what I'm really talking about is, is that it's at the moment you die, you'll open your eyes again and realize that you live forever. Well, till the end of time, at least. What I'm talking about is how special each one of these moments is. Not because you won't open your eyes again. Not because you won't open your eyes again the very moment after you die. But because you're only here right now in your physical incarnation and and I take that very seriously just like I take my son's moments very seriously and I guess just like I take everyone's moments very seriously because you truly don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Because we truly don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow. And I guess when you're scrolling, and when you're 
doing something that serves someone else's purpose on earth, I get a little worked up because I might never get the chance to meet you. Time is so interesting. And there is, and there's a force out there that's constantly stealing away your moments. Making you give up. Violating the sacredness and divinity of your day and each given moment. Whispering. Whispering to you not to take life too seriously. Because you only live once. And there's nothing more important than feeling better right now. true and I don't know if I can let you believe that that's true I had someone tell me the other day I had someone tell me the other day the other day I had someone tell me he couldn't change the world and I had someone else tell me she couldn't get out of bed And I had someone else tell me you couldn't take it anymore. And I took them seriously. But after talking for a while, they went back to their, their regular lives. Picking away at their souls, took took a back seat. And I guess that's what the whole day is. That's what the entirety of the modern day is. Forgetting your destiny. Not acting like it's important. And trying to relax. Like it's treating every hour like it's important is too much, right? It's, it's too serious. It's not, it's not hedonistic enough. It's robotic. But what if there, there is a way to live your life fully embodied in each moment? Because you are supposed to show up as your full self to each moment not having to forget your destiny not having to forget your destiny for 12 hours a day not having to alter yourself and not having to act like nothing matters Some people say not to think too much. Others tell you not to feel too much. But what if you're supposed to do it all? What if life is supposed to feel? What if life isn't supposed to feel the way that we're taught it's supposed to feel? What if we aren't supposed to modulate ourselves What if we aren't always supposed to change frequency to match the environment? What if there is higher purpose in every moment? What if you have to stop letting go? And what if, what if the next time you feel 
if the next time you feel that energy where the moment seems important and the hour seems at hand what if what if next time you hold on to that energy and what if you start meeting people that take you seriously and your time on earth and the fragility and the unpredictable nature of human life what if they what if you start what if your journey is dignified what if your journey is recognized by those around you and your purpose dignified. What if there is the path of full embodiment? And what if you have a purpose? I think you do. And I hope I get to know you before you're not here anymore even if it's just for a moment even if it's just a glimpse of whatever it is that you're here to do and I promise you if I see it and if if those around me, or I encounter you in your wholeness for even a moment, we will recognize it, we will honor it, and we'll show you, we'll show you show you how seriously we take your destiny. Maybe this is about letting go of letting go. Of 